Hello. It's a pleasure to be here today with Neil Fraser, the Executive Chairman and the CEO of the Produce Worlds Group at their fantastic Yaxley site, which is the predominant packer of all of their organic produce. And we're actually stood in the reed bed system, which cleans all of the water that comes out of the uh, packing facility here. Neil, the reason why we're here today is change. The only thing that you can predict in produce is change. You look at the, let's call it the state of turmoil that we've seen within the retail sector, um, the discounters having double digit growth, very recently it's been announced that two major retailers in mainland Europe um, are set to merge. So it's change, change, change. Yeah. Uh, Produce World um, has made a, a declaration, if it's alright to, to say that, of some very impressive uh, growth plans, expansion plans. We'd love to hear, how are you going to achieve this? Well, Max, I think the most important question is why. Um, and you actually just um, painted the picture of why we're doing it. Because retailers are finding life difficult. Mm -hmm. um, you see what's happened to... Tesco et al. Um, most of them have changed their CEOs in the last year. Correct, I think yeah. of the, the listed companies, I think Mike Cooper at Sainsbury's at 11 months is the longest serving. So in that background, um, we are intending to grow and have grown, not just for scale's sake for vanity, but to become more efficient, to try okay. and consolidate certain sectors and to give ourselves the ability to compete by being lowest cost producer. So lowest cost producer is actually our, our real ambition. The goal of scale is a means of achieving that. Understood. So, so that's the predominant element that I've put my hands up in the air, I wasn't that aware of, is the lowest cost producer. Correct. Um, and will that make you more attractive to the, the end customers on that basis? Well, yes, because if we can um, give them great quality at great price, that's very hard to compete with. Yeah. Um, and should hopefully attract them to do business with us okay. and may well attract other people who may want to come and join our group okay. to be part of that. Um, so, so the magic dust, because um, there'd be so many uh, businesses that have been looking to uh, to get to that point of being uh, the, the lowest cost producer. Um, how can Produce World achieve that when others um, have, have tried to do that and potentially have failed? Well, we're doing it by being very focused in what we do. I mean, we have looked at numerous opportunities for mergers and acquisitions, joint ventures, and we've been very selective in the partners we've chosen because they fit precisely what our core business is. Okay. So we have huge opportunities for synergy and bringing skill into the business okay. um, to give us that edge, that gives okay. that difference. So, so will there be a lot of collaboration, as there has been and there will be in the future, in that, that uh, Produce World model? Well, absolutely, because it's, it's not something that we can impose on customers to say, by the way, um, do you realise we're going to move your production from site A to site B, whether you like it or not? Yeah. Um, there has to be something in it for them. And it's, it's normally about quality improvement, process improvement. At Islam, for example, we're investing heavily to create what we believe will be the best routes facility in Europe um, with brand new grading facilities um, to give us that real quality edge and scale to make us uh, attractive commercially. So that's exactly why we bought a routes business, to give us that scale to allow us to do that. Understood. So it's also been said that a lot of profitability has been held up within the supply chain. So taking that innovative approach is going to get you that market leading edge over um, other, other businesses? Well, yes, because if, if we are um, the all blacks of the produce world, if you like, um, they are very lean, mean and fit. I mean, there's 15 guys, the same as any other team, yep. but they all work together really well. If one trips, there's always four or five there to pick the ball up. Excellent. That's the kind of um, attitude we have to business. Okay, and no, I like the, I like the, the rugby um, analogy. Mm -hmm. um, with the retailers, um, are the retailers fairly prescriptive as to who they'll deal with? Why would they want to change to um, Produce World? Is it all just about the price, uh, about you being a low, low cost producer? or the it's, other it's elements? It's not all about price, it's about our skill of agronomy. Uh, it's about the quality we bring. We've got a huge, you know, four generations of history in this business. We're not new kids on the block. We do know what we're doing. We're not expecting retailers to just ditch suppliers and come to us willy-nilly. We have to sort of prove our credentials and that's you know, a long burn. Our ambition to grow is not just through acquisition, it's also through organic growth. Okay. Um, but that we have to do on merit, not just on um, here's, a, here's a price, because it has to be sustainable. And they have to believe it's going to be there for the long term, not a short term quick buck. Yep. And how do you plan? For the future, when going back to what I said at the beginning of the conversation, all you can uh, predict is change, whether that be weather factors, whether that be currency, um, the investments that you put into like, the Islam site, mm -hmm. it's a brave thing to do. How, how, how do you have a crystal ball? Do you know what's going to happen a year, two years? Well, no, I, if, if I did, I wouldn't be in this job. I'd be, <laughs> I'd be a bookie or something. But, um, 
No, I think it's about taking control of your own destiny. Um, okay. I'd far rather do something than have it done to me. Yep. Um, learnt, point. learnt that through life that you know if you have a clear ambition, through power of intent, you can achieve stuff. I mean, it was only 18 months ago we um, came up with this growth ambition, and who'd have thought we'd do three transactions in the first year? It's not even a year yet since our first one. Fantastic. So Neil, if you could just summarise for us, what are the key points for the Produce World Group for it to be a future and for everyone to be aligned to your business to, uh, to share, share in that success? Well, it's very simple really. The first thing is to be our customer's first choice. Um, to use an old film, we need to be the ghostbusters of the industry. Who are they going to call if there's an issue? Well, us, hopefully. Yep. And we can only do that by having the best facilities, the best talent, the best plan, um, and the best source of agriculture with great growers. You know, that combination is very hard to compete with. Because Produce World does seem to be fundamentally different to a number of other produce businesses because you do appear to have a plan. Mm -hmm. you, you seem to be very good at presenting that plan um, to, to the sector. So everyone is, is, a, is aware of, of mm. where, where you're going. Um, do you believe that's a, that's a strength of the business to be as open as you are or, or is it a... Well, I, th I think it's, it is because you know, if we didn't have a plan, well, any road would take you to where you're, you know, you're going next. Yeah. Whereas if you're very clear on what your ambition is and what your direction is, um, then you can get there. As I said earlier, um, who'd have thought we'd do three transactions within the first year? That's quite extraordinary, actually, because yes. all of our advisors said, you know, Fraser, you're bonkers. Um, but we did it. Fantastic. Neil, thank you very much for your time. This is going to be a story one to watch and it will definitely have a positive conclusion. So we, we watch it from, uh, from, from, from afar with great anticipation. My Neil, pleasure. thank you very much. My pleasure.